All right, this is the second video for the tech class using the Onshape CAD program. And with the second assignment, you're going to do design the screwdriver you've already made in a metal shop. So this is the drawing. Uh, the best thing to do is just to watch a little bit of the video, pause it, do it, watch a little more, pause it, and do it. All right, so go to Onshape, hit Create, we'll call it screwdriver and make sure it's public hit create now what you want to do is go to sketch click on the front <coughs> we're going to design from the front and I'll zoom into the front by clicking here next click rectangle and start here, what they call the origin. Make a rectangle, and then now we're going to dimension it. So pause the video, make sure you've done this. Click dimension. The length is um, 2 and 3 eighths. And so what you want to do is just type 2.375. Height of it is 0.75. Okay, so make sure you've done this. Pause it if you need to. Next is there is a circle about right there. Now you need to dimension it. The circle is 5 16 diameter. Now when you dimension the circle, be sure you click the center of it, not, not the perimeter. So Click once here, click another time here, and the circle is 5 eighths of an inch on the left side. Then click the center of the circle, the top edge, and the circle is a half inch from the top of the metal. Next, we're going to go to the line tool and click about right there and if you notice, um, there's a little circle with a line. I can't actually point to it right now, but um, this is tangent, so make sure that you see those two little squares. And then we're going to dimension this. So click on this point here and this point there, and that line is 3 eighths of an inch over pick another line tool go over here and again you see those two symbols that popped up right there so now you're going to go to dimension click on this point and this point and that dimension that goes there is a quarter of an inch Okay, so now what we're going to do is press the escape key to end the current command. And I'm going to click this line and hit delete. The delete button's on the keyboard. I'm going to click this line, hit delete. I'm going to click this circle and hit delete. Now I'm going to pick the line tool and draw in these lines again. So left click, left click. This command right here is the arc command, three-point arc command. I'm going to click one time here, second time there, and then just click right there to end the command. Next is we're going to make this part rounded. That's, that's used with the fillet, fillet command, so I'm going to click the sketch fillet button right here. Click on this corner. And the diameter is 5 sixteenths, not the diameter, the sketch radius. Okay, so that looks good. Be sure you've paused it, done this. Don't forget the um, undo keys right there. And now we're going to extrude this out, so click the extrude button. And for the amount, it's 3 30 seconds of an inch thick. And it should green checkbox. 
It looks good. So we've completed our first sketch and our first extrude. So now we're going to do another sketch. So I'm going to click the sketch button. It wants me to click on a surface, so I second click is right there. And now I'm going to sketch in the circle where the keychain goes through. So here's the circle. The diameter, I'm going to say, is 3 sixteenths. Click on the top edge and the center of the circle. And that dimension is 5 sixteenths. Click on the center of the circle and the left edge. That's also 5 sixteenths. So you should have three dimensions for this circle. So it's what they call fully defined. Now I'm going to go to the extrude button. Instead of hitting add, I'm going to click remove. Click the circle. And I can make this be through all. Hit undo there. I'm going to do that again. And remove this circle. There it goes. So that looked good. So that was our second sketch and second extrude. You can see how things are coming on the left side here. So now I'm going to go rotate to the top view. And we're going to do the taper that you filed in the shop. So I'm going to go ahead and click the sketch button. Click on the screwdriver, that's the second mouse click. Here's the line tool. Click once here. Once about right there. Third click. Fourth click. Now we need to dimension it. So from this point to this point right there, it's 19 30 seconds. From this point right here to this point right here, it's 1 30 second. Then um, we're going to pick the line tool and notice how the midpoint is highlighted in yellow. So click that. There's something now called mirroring. I'm going to press the escape button so my there's no current commands active. And up here is the mirror. Once I click this, it says select a mirror line. So I'm going to click this. That's my mirror line. That says select entities to be mirrored. I'm going to click once, twice, three times. Hit the escape key to end the current command. Click this line and delete it with the delete key. And now we're going to go to the green checkbox. I'm going to go to extrude, hit remove, and click this and this one right here. And if you hit the green checkbox, it should work. So this is perfect. So now I'm going to click the um, isometric tab. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, I'm going to click the surface, go to sketch, and type your name here. So. Do it right, right here. And then you type in your first last name. And that seemed to work. If it's out of place or something, don't forget that you can you can dimension this and make it be bigger or smaller. 
right, so now I'm going to go to isometric. Zoom in. Another thing we could do to have that name be visible would be to extrude it out. I would do point point zero one point zero one ten thousandths. All right, so now we're ready to print. So remember to print, we're going to go up here to this menu, hit print, and notice it gives you this preview. <clears throat> so we want to move our screwdriver, make sure it's within that boundary there. It's not too small. We have the green checkbox, so again, it's within this dashed line here. And then hit print, and that's an A+. All right, thanks for watching.